response of the day from the new management is teamwork. Teamwork or you're fired. Thank you. Make up the set, please. But a gutta, 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 but a Okay, I'm ready. And let's have salad bar noise now. Hi, I'm Tony Panchisi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for do it yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. You three want to lighten up? That tension is so thick in here I could cut it with my butt cheeks. There's your hardware. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Get ready, time for fashion. Run. Okay, to get things started, Mexican do attitude. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? Al Pastor, chorizo, ceviche. Player two, who gets the screw? Oh, you're screwed, player one. You got five seconds. Ceviche is fish. Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. Player two, your screw didn't work out quite right. Let's try Mark TV, and it's a dis or dat. Player two, why don't you take this dis or dat since you need the most help? I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the X button. If it's on MTV, Press the B button, and if you think it's both, press A. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Make your selections before player two, because if player two gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the winnings. Alrighty then, here it comes. Bats. Fridge. Mugs. Skins. Juniors. Juvies. Tools. You're a tool. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though, officially. Dance with me, Disco 3. I call this one. Just want to check in. Hey, how do you feel? With the pharynx, with the thoracic cavity, with the pulmonary veins, or with the thalamus? <laughs> Player three? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Player one? Sweet dreams. <laughs> Player two? Located just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. <laughs> That's fine, don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. <laughs> yeah. And now, for whom the dinner bell tolls. 
<laughs> oh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Cookie, fortune, cookie. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm, if that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? <laughs> Player two? Ow. <laughs> Player three? Honest mistake. <laughs> Player one? In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. I have this one's called, I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. Curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting? Oh, player three, who's getting the screw? Player two, you've been screwed, you got five seconds. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Superlative use of the screw, player three. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Player one. <laughs> Player three. The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. That's the end of a thrilling first round, and player one is in the lead, but for how long? Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And hint, hint, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, here it comes. Here we have, spit up or shut up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady... Player one, who do you want to... Play the player three, you're screwed, you got five seconds to answer. Congratulations, not. Player one, nicely screwed. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Player two, interesting choice. Player one. According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies, beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. <laughs> Lady Dada is a good name, right? Please just say yes, because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Question 7! Here's one I like to call childhood murmuries. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up to the do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy screwy up to? I forget. So, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be, uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? Player two? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Player three? Oh, the humanity! <laughs> Player one? 
Are you thinking of Conkers, old man? Hey, Conkers, yeah! And it's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seats called a Conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Take a stab at... All rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or the Lorax? <laughs> Players two and three? The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. <laughs> It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. Player one. You hopped on the wrong answer. But also just drifted into winning an assortment of half-deflated balloons from slightly used balloons. Slightly used balloons. When the party's over, the savings begin. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Next up, there's a question in my pants, and you're all invited. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question! Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra, put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing to most butt cheek revealing. Thong, bikini, tonga. Bikini, tonga, thong, tonga, thong, bikini, thong, bikini, tonga, or tonga, bikini, thong. Player three? Oh, you picked the thong answer. <laughs> Players one and two? Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than tonga style, and tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty much all out there. You each just earned yourselves an extra thousand bucks for that one. <laughs> But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. Here's a good one. Feeling fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort. But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? <laughs> Player three? <laughs> Player two? I would know how to pronounce it if it was that easy. <laughs> Player one? Yep, Rafe Fines' first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Vines is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. -S -S it's a weird British thing. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of who.
takes it. Player one, you really humiliated those two. Hope they don't take it out on you after the game. Remember, you can run and you can hide, but... You don't know Jack! The perfect cup of coffee. That's what we pour at High Horse Coffee House. But it's not for everyone. Frankly, your taste buds probably can't appreciate how complex and rich our coffee is. And you know what? It angers us to think of you drinking it. Okay, there it is. And hey, let's take it a step further. We despise you. Our coffee is f***ing amazing and complex. And it's like from another f***ing dimension. But it's wasted. It is wasted on you. I would rather pour our coffee on a pile of manure than let it touch your tongue. That's right. You rate lower than steaming manure piles. So stay away. You just stay away, or so help me, I won't be held responsible for my actions. So remember, that's High Horse Coffee House on Historic Mansion. No, you know what? F*** you. Ice cold beer taste. No good. This is Glug Lightsville. Glug Lightsville is the only light beer that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Sit ups and lifting rocks. Punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lightsville bottles are empty, no beer comes out. So you know it's empty. Every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot. Hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lightsville comes in a bottle with its name on the label. So you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs. Drinking beer while exercising. Getting tipsy, massive chafing. No pain, no gain. Be a cool tattoo. Get dehydrated, don't take breaks. Water shows the babes your weakness. Must get babes to make Jenny jealous. Jenny must know you're doing all right. Glug Light Spelt. Glug Light! Have you felt tired from all that?